The president has not addressed anything. In fact, he solved the political issue to his advantage to odwink us. So we are telling him, if you are plotting the impeachment with your MPs, who you have bought and put into your pocket, then be ready and know that this calm you are enjoying after the protest is just a calm before the storm. We are coming for you and we are coming to tackle the issues that you have not been able to address. Kwa hivyo kama ni kuenda mimi nasema Zakayo washikane na Rigiji waende. Our problem is not Rigiji. Our problem is the rogue government. And for Kindiki, there were many youths who were abducted during the demonstration. Can you focus? Can you tell us about the quarry? How people were buried there? Na wengine wale wamepotea wako wapi? We as the youths of the mountain, we are here speaking one voice. We don't care, we don't give a damn anymore because we have gone to the streets, we have raised the issue through social media platforms, we have talked to the MPs and nothing has been worked out. It's like, tunaongea leo inaingililia kwa the right ear inatokea the left ear. And to be sincere, we are really mad and we are very, very angry with them. As we know, according to our constitution, the presidency, is the one ticket whereby you have the president and his deputy president and therefore we voted for them both at the ballot box therefore they cannot be separated they are like CMS twins and if they are to go then they must go all together comrades power it is imperative to restore respect within our leadership and to reign in the arrogance of those who seek to undermine the office of the deputy president Allowing this disrespect to continue only serves to escalate political tension within our nation. It will be messy, noisy, smoky, and with casualties. We challenge all leaders, do not forget, do not forget that we are the future. And we will not let our future to be built on lies, corruption, and betrayal. Let us work together to build a better Kenya for all. We all agree. If at all the deputy president is not fit, it means even the president is not fit to rule the country. Yes, and if sir, they yes, want to sir, do away yes, with sir. Rigazi, we have no problem with that. But they will have to do with away with the president. We are tired and we cannot let anybody intimidate us. Even if it means we will die fighting for our country, fighting for our future and fighting for our present, sure. we will. We are witnessing a government more focused on petty politics instead of addressing the real issues that affect the people. Our schools and universities remain paralyzed by the strikes. Lecturers are on strike. Nani wako shule yapa? Mnasoma kweli? Because lecturers are still on strike because they have not been paid their dues while citizens continue to suffer under the weight of growing economic crisis. But what are our leaders doing? Instead of focusing on solutions, some of our MPs have, cho have chosen to engage in betrayal, deceit and empty political games. Comrades, power! Power!